Hello students, welcome to the 11th class in real analysis. So in this video lecture, let's you know continue the topic which we have started in the last video lecture, right? So let's begin with a very important theorem which states that the theorem states that the set of integers is a countable set. So that is what we are interested to prove. All of us know what are integers. All of us know it very clearly, right? So numbers that are 0, 1, again minus 1, 2, minus 2 and so on. So these are the integers. That is the set of integers generally denoted as Z, right? So in order to define, in order to prove that the set of integers is a countable set, what we'll be doing is we'll be defining a map from the naturals to integer in such a way, in such a way, such that f of n is piecewise defined as n by 2 if n is even, right? And if n is odd, then we have defined it to be minus of n minus 1 by 2, right? So let us verify what, what is this map actually doing. So let us check what is this map actually doing. For example, if I put n equals to 1, since n is a natural number, so 1 is an odd number, right? 1 minus 1 is 0. So 1 will get mapped to 0, clearly. Put n equals to 2 now. Put n equals to 2. 2 is an even number. So 2 by 2 means 1. So 2 will get mapped to 1. Now put n equals to 3. What will be n equals to 3? That is an odd. So it would be minus of 3 minus 1 by 2. What is it? It is nothing but 2 by 2 of a negative. So it is minus 1. So 3 gets mapped to minus 1. You can easily check that 4 will get mapped to, just let us verify also, n equals to 4. n equal to 4 is an even number. So it will get mapped to n by 2. So 4 get mapped to 2. Similarly, 5 will get mapped to minus 2 and so on. So clearly, you can see that f is 1, 1 and on 2, right? Because codomain becomes equal to the range. And therefore, we can say that the set of naturals is equivalent to the set of integers, right? Integers generally denoted as z or i. You can use any of the symbol. And if any set is equivalent to the set of naturals, we say that the particular set is a countable. And hence, we claim that and hence, we prove that the set of integers is countable. And that completes the proof. So in the upcoming video lecture, we will prove that the set of rationals is also a countable set. Thank you for watching this video lecture. For more such videos, do subscribe to our YouTube channel and do not forget to press the bell icon. Thank you so much.